Some people have no idea when to quit. So he wants to keep going, so uh, let's keep going. Check this one out. Wow. Zephyrnix. Zephyrnix finally hits me with a decent video response. Only took two months. I know, right, dude? How dare I be married with a job and be a productive member of society? How dare I? All right, so let's get into this. Uh, first things first, he says that um, in his response video that I'm the one looking for drama, which is funny to me because you're like the Wendy Williams of YouTube. Okay, hold on, hold on. Who the hell is Wendy Williams? And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Let's see. Wendy Williams, Wendy Williams Show, Media Pro. Okay, here, here we go. Um, Wikipedia. Damn, she old. What's telling? She also calls herself the queen of all media and a host of her own syndicated talk show. Dude, you you be at home watching talk shows? You know what? I don't think I need to um go in any further. I think we are done. We proved that a you have no job and that you are gay. It is officially proven as of now like you're always instigating stuff you're always looking for drama like look at this dude's old videos he's always covering other people's beefs other people's debates my thoughts on shokyo versus mlg my thoughts on like oh isn't that cute the little trap rat is trying to go back in 2009 to go ahead and try his his best attempt at ownage Dude, I hate to break this to you, but if you actually, the fact that you went back in 2009 is pathetic enough, but if you actually do, uh, if you actually watch the video, you'll notice that it's not me talking about a debate that they did, but it's me actually trying to prevent them from having a debate. Thank you kindly. That being said though, I noticed that one of your viewers, Jumpman, actually went ahead and gave me a fine example of me going ahead and um, instigating. So, or looking for drama anyway. So, dude, real talk, how the hell do you let your viewers do a better job at quote-unquote owning when, according to you, it's supposed to be your occupation? Damn. I would say don't quit your day job, but, uh, well, we all know about that. You're an instigator. And no, I didn't go looking for beef. We actually calmed down. I made my Capcom video, and you made your little comment. I corrected you. Then you made another comment on the front of your video, the beginning of your video. I corrected you again. And then you go back and forth with the personal insult. So I have to get personal on you. For the record, the comments that he's talking about is uh, when he said, when I said, I thought the developers were kissing the consumer's ass. And he said, I said companies. And we were talking about Capcom. He still doesn't get that Capcom is actual company. But whatever. Let's keep going. Period. So this is funny because he tries to say that I'm weird because he found out that I uploaded my video at about 2 a.m., right? And that's very funny to me because his response video that he uploaded, he uploaded at 3 a.m. Eastern. What? 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 According to this, which by the way tells you when the uh, actual file was added, it was added at 10.40 p.m. What? You got caught in a lie? What? You fibbing? What? Ha <laughs> ha! Dude, if you got a lie in order to make yourself look good, you automatically lost. And then the other part proves that he's a super genius. Because then he, he puts a little link that says, oh, actually, he has a, a ghetto or whatever welfare internet connection because the video was actually started uploading at 6.30. Uh, no. Tell me this. Tell me if I started uploading at 6.30. How did I include stuff that you hadn't said yet? I uploaded that video about 20 minutes after me and you were going back and forth on the comments of your video. And anybody can go back and check those comments and see the times and see that I uploaded the video within about 20 minutes. It doesn't take me long to upload a video. My connection's not ghetto like yours, Seth. What? What in the blue hell are you talking about? Dude, this is the annotation that he's referring to, right? So, question. How the hell did a message about my video turn into a message about your video? Now I know what you guys are saying. Well, Zephyrnix, he might have just made a mistake. It was a simple mistake. Uh -uh. See, here's the problem. In the beginning of the part, in the beginning of his whole rant, he said... He has a, a ghetto or whatever 
welfare internet connection because the video was actually started uploading at 6.30. But then he starts saying, tell me if I started uploading at 6.30, how did I include stuff that you hadn't said yet? Question to everybody. Um, is it me or is this nigga just crazy? How dare you? You can't touch me. Leave him alone. I didn't write to mess with the crazies. And then he makes fun of my PS3 fan in the background. When your first video response to me, you're in the laundry room with a fan in the background and everybody had to turn the speakers up just to hear what you're saying. So regarding production values, you, you really don't have room to speak, bro. Absolutely, because obviously those two videos that I did are the only videos that I actually have in my whole repertoire. That being said though, uh, let me just kind of classify something real quick for you. That's the laundry room and that as you see where I shot the video, is actually my little dining room. Yeah, dude, you don't eat, you don't do your laundry in the dining room. You know, big guy coaching you up some, because obviously you lacking. But he's, half his video he's talking about how my video quality sucks. Like his stuff is like Cisco and Eber quality. Like, dude, have you seen half your videos? They look like junk. Half of them you're using like a Mr. Microphone. Like, really? No, just, just stop. Okay, so you said half of my video, I was talking about your video quality? Dude, that was like less than a minute. That's not half. The video I did was about 15 minutes. One minute is not half of 15 minutes. And then you said <laughs> that I used uh, a microphone in half of my videos. I have about, what is it, 172 videos, and I've only used a microphone in about six or seven of them. That's not half. You know what? Obviously, you're lacking in a certain academic field, so here, you're gonna need this. Then he says I call him Rick James for some odd reason. I call you Rick James because you contradict yourself. You, you don't watch Chappelle's show? Come on, son. Do you, can you afford it? You can have you have a TV, right? You never seen Chappelle's show? Son, three things wrong with that particular comment right there. Number one, that is a 55-inch plasma television, son. 1080p, yes, I be rocking the good shit. That's number one. Number two. Dude, I just showed you my uh, checking account, and that was just my play checking account with over $800 in it. Yeah, I can afford one. Plus, I got a job. Try getting one. Last but not least, dude, I own the fucking DVD to the Chevelle show. So, yeah, I've watched it. That's the reason why I card you darknesses in the same exact paragraph that you're talking about. How is it that your own joke goes over your head? Like, I ain't never seen nothing so stupid in my life. Damn. And then he calls me, since the, the lighting is, is tripping, he calls me Dark Nessus. Like, learn how to spell. It's darkness, not Dark Nessus. Gosh, you're retarded. Uh, are you serious? Uh, dude, remember the Chappelle show? The one that you just talked about? Yeah, remember this clip? Fuck your couch, nigga! <laughs> Buy another one, you rich motherfucker! Fuck your couch, nigga! Fuck your couch! Darknesses! Darknesses! Dude, so far, so fail. Like, seriously, I'm very unimpressed by your skills, man. So far, I done knocked your ass out in every aspect with the exception of taking my own words and twisting them around or omitting information. So far, that's the only thing you haven't done, but it's still early, let's keep going. And yes, Def, when I said companies, I was referring to companies overall. We weren't talking just about video games, we were talking about digital distribution and disk-based media. I was talking about companies overall. I wasn't talking specifically about video game companies, and I think you know that. Or probably not, you're, you're kind of stupid. Well, in the words of Forrest Gump, I may not be a smart man, but I know what damage control is. And then he shows his proof that compression has no effect on quality, and then owns itself in the very paragraph he's reading. You say, and I quote, the AV data will degrade to a minimum level. Do you know what degrade means? Degrade? Well, actually, yes, I happen to do know what that is. That's pretty much what you're doing to yourself right now. Because in that same paragraph, if you read one paragraph before it, it says that, um, guys, excuse me, I can't really read it from here, but it pretty much speaks to the point of they're talking about as high as 80% compression rate, which means that it's at 80% compression rate when you will actually start seeing that the grading to the minimum effect. Seriously, dude, if you gotta sit there and lie in order to make yourself look good, 
or omit information in this case, not lying, but omit information, you automatically lose. So, 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 what have we learned about you? We learned that you are willing to omit information just to make yourself look good. We learned that you're a liar. We learned that you cannot read. We learned that you can't um, do math. We learned that you are damn near crazy. And we also learned that um, you, uh, what is it? Watch uh, talk shows? Is that what it's called? Talk shows, really do? Really? You know, when I made that joke in the other video about getting the SSI check, I didn't really think you was crazy. But you know what? Now, it's starting to make sense. Damn. So I guess you can't go get a job, huh? Maybe you can't get a job, right? Maybe that's your excuse. Oh, I can't get a job, Zappy. I'm crazy. Yo, you no. Know? Apparently, man, that might be the case. Man. <laughs> Dude. Don't you realize by now, all that time you were sitting there jumping, having all fun. Oh, I own Zephyrnix. I own Zephyrnix. You were saying like eight or nine times. Son, I wasn't even trying. Dude, I was sitting there trying to go in and have the conversation and get along with my life. But since you seem to be the one who wants to get my attention, I figured I'd give it to you. And guess what? You're not impressive. Not even remotely, dude. I just smashed half your video. Should I do the other half too? Something tell me it's gonna be that easy. You guys have a good night. Zap out. King, there is no shame in losing against history's greatest warrior. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Hurt me while I play!